Hello viewers, let's ask you a question, what comes to your mind when you hear the roar of a plane, whether you are in flight or not, what comes to your mind? Today's video is about what happens when an airplane makes a flight. Let's take a look at the video and see what we can get. Keep watching my video and subscribe my channel. Comments for my improvement. How do an airplane fly? How do all those airplanes in the sky above us get there? How they keep there for a long time? What about they get there? Let's learn about it for a few minutes. In order to understand how the interesting machine works, we need to know about forces which act on the plane as they fly through the air. There are four of these forces work on it. Two artificial ones designed to overcome natural ones. Natural forces are the weight of the plane or forces of gravity and wind resistance or drag. Which is a form of friction. Exerted by different gases molecules in the air, prevailing this effect requires forces known as lift and thrust, each of which is delivered by unique piece of technology found on any airplane. Firstly, there's the heaviest, loudest. Perhaps you are familiar with if you have flight experience. That is the engine. The airplane engine is an engineering marvel all its own. The engine that powered the famous Nineteen zero three flyer designed by Wright Brothers. Featured a custom built only twelve horsepower gasoline engine that drove twin propellers. Today's turbojet engines are far sophisticated from predecessors. Weighing up to 8,000 pounds. Generating more than 30,000 horsepower. Both however accomplish the same job. To provide force that starts forward on takeoff. And once they are in the air, the sheer size and sound of today's engines might feel like they are doing all the work to get you fellow passengers off the ground. But that forward motion is only part of a flight system. Upward force required to lift plane into the air.
supported by the plane wing. Here's where the series of flight. Just a little tricky. If only because of a widely but slightly misunderstood of conception of aerodynamics. Well, take a look cross section of airplane, wing or airfoil in flight. You might have learned that the curve shape of an airfoil is what gives it the superpower to float airfoil. Here first diverge at the front. Of the wing part of it rolling over the curve section and the rest along the straight edge. Because the distance between the two points in this case the front and back of the wing is a straight line. Here along the bottom tends to want to travel faster. So to catch up air molecules above the wing, have to travel even more quickly. To meet up with same air packet that diverges at the front of the wing. Fast moving air above creates low pressure, while slower moving air below. Creates higher pressure. So the overall effect is upward movement. The mechanism seems to make intuitive sense. The thing is it's not quite right. There is no physical law that dictates the molecules have to meet up. After being curved apart by an airplane wing, but shape does play an integral part in flight. Air tends to move in a straight line. The curved portion of an airfoil, however, reflects air such as the same number of air molecules are smeared over a larger volume. Then those traveling along the bottom edge This creates pressure differential. Low pressure above and high pressure below. And there you are. That creates lift. If you need little bit convincing try this exercise or think back to the last time you might have tried it. It's 
take your arm out the window of a moving car and cup your hand. You will feel the physical consequences of adding the cur that curvature. With your finger pressed tightly together, try creating different curvature. both positive and negative you will understand how we are plane wings also make descents toward the ground possible these forces are enough to make flight by airplane possible While maneuvering in the air is vastly complicated, it's simply a matter of forcing air to pass over the wings of a plane in different ways. The technologies that enable different movements include Alarons Elevators Rudders Spoilers Air brake Some wing prototypes are even designed to transform organically, like the wings of birds, insects, allowing for even finer control. So that next time you are at the airport or hear the roar of plane engine overhead. Take a moment to appreciate all the interesting physics, both simple and complex that makes human air travel a marvel of modern society.